Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to take just a few minutes and talk about my favorite blockchains for NFTs. My favorite, favorite blockchains to purchase NFTs on. Now, if you don't know what NFTs are, you may want to go back and watch my former you know, videos on NFTs. But a short snippet on the kinds of NFTs that I invest in, I like to buy NFTs that are pieces of art. My favorite kinds are the kind that look like little heads that are you know, used in social media and the icons, the profile pictures. So um, CryptoPunks, I like those and I like the variants of those. Um, Bored Ape uh, Yacht Club, I like those and the variants of those. I've had some of those. Um, Bored Ape, or no, hold on. Degenerate Ape Academy, I've had some of those. Um, there's so many more. I've had a lot of different ones. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give you the ins and outs of getting involved in them and what, what way I would do it. I'll do deep dives later on this. I'm going to have a lot more videos in this process that show you my screen and how to actually do things. Um, but I just want to give you my mindset and my thoughts on the NFTs just up front. So number one, if I were just getting in, into NFTs, um, I would encourage you to look at NFTs on the Solana blockchain because it's super easy to get started. But there's also Polygon, which is a lot more technical. You have to get the Matic token on Ethereum. You have to convert it and then move it over to the Polygon network. And then you have to use it there in the purchases. And there's a bunch of steps. I'll show you how to do that another day. Um, but that's really technical. There's Ethereum. You can get NFTs on Ethereum. You could always buy Ethereum on like Coinbase and then move it over to a MetaMask wallet and use MetaMask on your phone even to buy um, NFTs right off of, uh, of the OpenSea or something like that. Real simple stuff. Um, there's high transaction fees right now. It's not as technical and it's a little easier. It's a lot easier than Polygon, but again, it's gonna be more expensive. You can use a desktop, you know, not, you can't use your phone to do this, but you can use a laptop and get the Phantom Wallet for Solana and get it as a plugin on Google Chrome or my favorite browser is the Brave browser because I get paid to use it. And right now that token shot up. Um, I get, I love that. It's made me money. But I'll use the Brave browser with the plugin from Google Chrome for, um, the Phantom wallet, which is so long, one of the Solana wallets, is the one I like the most. And so I'll use the Phantom wallet and I will purchase on Solanart.io. So it's S O A or S O L A N A R T dot IO, Solanart.io. And I'll purchase my NFTs there. They're going to be the least expensive NFTs. I'm sorry, my timer's going off. They're going to be the least expensive NFTs and they're gonna have um, some of the best returns and they're one of the easiest to use. It's a little more technical than doing Ethereum to MetaMask. You're gonna have to buy your Solana on like Coinbase and then transfer it over to um, your Phantom wallet on that wallet address. However, the costs are extremely low. You're gonna do fractions of cents of cost versus hunt up over a hundred dollars in costs for ethereum so the gas fees are very low on solana and then another one that's going to be a little more technical to do is tron and so tron has some great nfts out there they're really building up their art world really big asia crowd they're using it and so i like it because some of the coolest newer nfts are coming out there and it's not as crowded a space so i love that so my big encouragements are um, Polygon, Tron, Solana, and Ethereum as far as um, doing NFTs and buying them. If you're doing Ethereum, you can get your Ethereum domain name. If you're doing Solana, you can get your Solana domain name. And then you can, you know, mask your wallet with a quick domain like mine's nerdcheek.eth. That's my Ethereum wallet address. So people can send me money to that domain name and it's super easy, but that's also an NFT. It's lodged in the blockchain. Solana has the same thing going on with .sol. So 
you might want to do that. One of mine is I think Renaissance of a Soul dot S O L for my Solana wallet. It's just really cool. So the NFTs I like to invest in, I like the art. I'm getting interested in the music. I like um, the domains. And then there's so many more I haven't even tapped into. I'm just watching them. Primarily, it's going to be the profile pics for me. I think those are cool. They're really trending. That's been the big movement. And then the last thing I'll say about those. So uh, here's, well, I'll say this first. And I'll say the last thing. I rank the blockchains best for entry and cost for... Um, you know, NFTs this way. I think Solana is the easiest and lowest cost. Well, it's a, a lower cost than Ethereum and it's the easiest. Polygon is a lesser cost and much more challenging. Tron is the least cost. Uh, it's a little less challenging than Polygon, but it's not as loved or as easy to sell your NFTs on because people aren't buying them. And then Ethereum is actually last for me now. And I'm in Ethereum because I can afford it, but the high cost, the barrier to entry is lower, but it's high cost. So number one be Solana for me, Polygon, and then Tron and Ethereum in that order for how I would do it. I'm in all of them. I'm in actually more than that, but those are my four that I recommend to start with NFTs. I recommend starting with Solana. And then again, the kinds of things I look for. I look for an NFT that has a very active Twitter and Discord. So why do I do that? Because if there's an active Twitter account and they're burning and talking and giving and they're giving some away and they're encouraging movement and action and there's a very high Discord action. So they're in their Discord server and you can see them doing all kinds of stuff. They're very active in there and you see hundreds of people reacting. You can trust that those those projects that you're investing in, those NFT projects like Board Ape Yacht Club, they're gonna go busy. They're gonna move fast because there's lots of people driving it. You're not alone in creating value. There's also camaraderie and community. So, back to what I'm saying. Number one, pick a blockchain that's easy and low cost. Solana's probably your best bet right now. Um, if you got the money, go Ethereum because it's easy and it's where everybody's at. But Solana's next. It, and then when you're getting stuff, get things that have high, fast running communities. Go through Discord and Twitter and find them. Uh, of course, CryptoPunks, Board Ape Yacht Club, um, Lazy Lions, or just a few on Ethereum. Some of the ones that are big on Solana. Degenerate Ape Academy is, of course, blowing it up. Um, one of the others would be all the, geez, the, all the monkeys that are on there. There's so many um, soul monkeys and that kind of thing. They're going nuts. Um, I just, I'd look at those. But find busy and active Discord communities and then work with them. Go, I think um, Galactic Gecko is one on Solana. It's going crazy. Great communities. Active communities on Discord and active Twitter. And, you know, you're seeing them trend upwards, not down. That's my recommendations, guys, on getting into NFTs. I'll actually give you some recommendations on a later video for Solana and Ethereum, some of the biggest projects, how much they're worth and what those values are to kind of give you an idea of what you're getting into. But this new era of art, I don't think it's going to be a fad. I think it's ongoing. I think that this is just the beginning and you're starting to see all the dust settle and more um, widespread uh, adoption by everyone and not just a few starlets here and there. All right, so thanks for tuning in to NerdCheek. Ask all the questions you got in here. If you've got one you love and I didn't mention it, please hit the comments and share it. Share links to your projects, your NFTs. I would love that. I'm not against it. Share them in the comments and, and um, get your project out there. Share why yours is awesome. And um, of course, I've got my addresses in there. Hit me up with some of them. Send me one of your, your um, projects. If you're launching an NFT, send me an NFT. I love it. And of course, I'll talk it up out there and share about your stuff as you pull me into your community. This is a lot of fun. I'm having a blast and I'd love to be a part of your project. So you can find in my descriptions all of my different wallets. Send them away and tell me they came and hit me up on Twitter because I'm getting you know thousands of followers there and I'll uh, talk your stuff up. You guys, thanks for tuning in. Nerd Cheek, y'all take care.